Hello guys and welcome back to another video. I'm still in Portugal and this vlog is going to be super fun because my new surfboard is finally getting finished. I am picking it up so you guys can see what it looks like. I'm making some changes to my van and I'm going on a little road trip with the new setup. But yeah, you'll see for yourself in this video. Let's get started. If you've been following me on here and on Instagram for a while, you might know that last year I made a very big dream of mine come true, which was to buy myself my own van. I got myself a VW T6 transporter with a long wheelbase with the intention to convert the van. Um, and now I've had the van for more or less like a year. And the reason why I haven't converted it yet is because I want to get a pop-up roof fitted. So it's one of those roofs that you can pop up and you can sleep in it and the main reason why I'm getting it is because when you push it up you've got a bit more space in the van because compared to you know like a Mercedes Sprinter my van isn't very high so you can't stand in it but when you push up that pop-up roof you've got a bit more space but unfortunately it's been taking super long to order these kind of pop-up roofs I think last year everyone really wanted to get into like van life and camping so apparently a lot of people ordered them which is why the waiting time was so long finally gonna get it fitted within the next one or two months which i'm very excited about and once the pop-up roof is put into the van i can start the conversion i can't really do it before the pop-up roof is fitted because they're literally gonna go into the van and they're gonna cut open the whole entire ceiling so if there's like a kitchen or a bed in it already it's going to be really difficult for them to do it um, so I have to wait until then. I'm already using the van now to drive around and to put my surfboards in the back but yeah I'm not really sleeping in it but I'm planning to do a little trips here and there before I get the roof fitted in so this weekend I went to see a guy who's also most likely going to help me with the van conversion and he's a carpenter and he put in like a really simple but very nice bed in the back um, so now I can already sleep in the van. Let me show you what it looks like now. So this is the band he fitted and it's not fixed to anything. So when they put in the pop-up roof, they can pretty much just take it out. For now, I've got my surfboards underneath, but when I plan to do some trips um, with it, I'm going to put in some boxes where I can store my clothes and yeah, other stuff. And then on here, I'm planning to put a mattress and you know, pillows and a duvet and then yeah that's it very simple but I'll be able to sleep in it okay guys I don't know if you can see that my hair is a little bit purple here but last night I put in like a like a purple hair mask that takes out like the yellow tint of your hair and it makes it look a bit more like a cool blonde and I left it in for too long so now I have like a purple streak here but I think it'll wash out so it's all good um remember how last time I showed you my new surfboard getting shaped well, today I'm off to watch it get laminated, which is a very important part because um, it took me really long to decide on the color. If you've followed me on Instagram, you might have seen the boards I already have. One of them is like a peach color, like peach orange. The other one's pink. They're both really pretty. Um, and I was having a hard time deciding on this one. Some people might be like, whatever, the color doesn't matter. But, you know, I'm such a visual person. I like to take photos with my surfboards and stuff. So color was important. Um, I picked a color. So now I'm off to watch Sam laminate the board, which is going to be interesting. And I'm really hope that the color is going to turn out nice that I've decided for. Back in the car, the board's been laminated. It's been really cool watching it. I thought it was so satisfying when Anna mixed together the colors and then applying the color and the resin on the board. It was just really nice to watch. I really enjoyed it. And I'm super happy with how the color turned out. I'm so excited to really see the final product. And what's gonna be even more exciting than picking up the board is gonna be surfing it for the first time. So yeah, next time I see you, we're gonna go pick up the board. Hey guys, I've put on some comfy clothes because I'm gonna be sitting in the car for the next 
three hours. Um, I'm leaving for a short road trip. Uh, remember when I showed you that I put in this temporary bed in the back of my van and I really wanted to try it out and the best way to try it out is obviously to sleep on it. Um, so I've decided to go on a little super short road trip. I think I'm going to go for two nights only or so. I'm heading up north to Ericera where Jula and I actually used to stay for a bit last year. We were staying there for I think a bit longer than a month and we had a really good time. I still have some friends that are staying there and some people that I know that are in Lisbon so I'm planning to meet up with them and yeah try the temporary bed because later this year we're gonna have to drive all the way to Germany with the van with that bed construction so I want to see if it's working and if we're gonna be able to take our surfboards with um yeah let me show you it's a little bit windy but I hope you guys can still hear me so packed everything up inside the van um I'm using these boxes for storage here I've got my surf stuff and over there we've got this case which contains like the covers for the windows so I can make it dark and down here we've got the boxes and the surfboards let me show you guys from the back this is what it looks like from the back I've put a mattress onto the wood and then like my bedding and down here I've got some more boxes you know the thing is these surfboards just take up so much space I mean this is a long board it's massive um so if it wasn't for the surfboard like i'd fit so many more boxes um but i mean now it's a short trip so it's fine but yeah i've got my 9.4 uh longboard and i took a shorter one because in ericera it's not that amazing to longboard so that's like a 7.4 and then here i've got my clothes inside so yeah let's go so i just put it on google maps and i always forget how close it is so to ericera it's only three hours and 15 minutes which honestly isn't far i don't know why i haven't gone there earlier um to visit yet let's go happens every summer I've always been a huge fan of my surf poncho. It's like the most comfortable thing and I most of the time I keep it on after surfing to drive home. It's just so nice and you have to get them really big so they're comfortable. But now I discovered that they're like the best thing ever for camping. So not only after surfing, for camping they're so great because when you get out of the shower at the campsite you can just throw this over, you don't have to put on clothes, you don't have to run around like with a towel wrapped around and be scared that it's gonna fall down. Ponchos are like honestly the single best investment for surfing and for camping. They're like a must. And I made a mistake, the first one I bought, I bought it too small, so always make sure to buy it big so you have like lots of space to like change underneath and stuff, so surf ponchos are like... And time to unwind only gives me time to spend alone I can't help but Time to have my favorite pizza in the world. Honestly, this pizza spot in Ericera is so good. It's like, I think apart from Italy, this is the best pizza I've ever eaten. With nothing to do. Summer, loving, give me something. I'm about to lose my mind. Cause when I... Under moonlight, a flower in her hair, and didn't think she'd notice, but I know she called my stare. And I can't help but wonder what she's thinking now. So I'm currently at Costa de Caparica, which is super close to Lisbon, and I'm looking for some waves because this place is actually pretty good to longboard. Ooh, there's some nice ones coming in there. A lot of people on longboards, so I think it could be really fun. Um, it's not too big, so I, I just love it when the waves aren't too big. I love this one.
super fun. There were quite a lot of people in the water, but it wasn't too bad. Um, and now I'm super hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet, so I'm gonna see if there's something nice to eat around here. Hey guys, so I'm currently in Lagos and today is a very exciting day because I'm finally going to be picking up my new surfboard. I'm super excited to see what it turned out like and yeah, to also surf it very soon. Can you spot my new board behind me? This is the board and it's so pretty. It feels so weird, like it feels so new and I'm like scared that I'm gonna break it, just holding it. So I just got back home and I wanted to give you guys a closer look at the board because when we picked it up I was really excited and I was also a little bit too shy to talk about it because we were standing in the middle of town here were lots of people walking past. Anyway, this is my new baby. It's 7'2 and because as you guys know I usually long board so when he shaped the board he made it pretty wide and it's also got like pretty round at nose and quite a bit of volume so it's going to be relatively easy to catch waves with it which should be super fun and for the design i've decided to leave this part here white and then just have like this peachy outline wrap around um, and in the back it's in this really really pretty peach coral color which i love here at the bottom we've got some sprinkles which i think make it look so unique I absolutely love it and for the fin setup you can surf it either as like a single fin, so you just put one bigger fin here, or you can add like the side fins for more stability if the waves are a little bit more hollow. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to surf it as a single fin actually. So yeah, tonight I'm gonna wax this board up and then hopefully, um, yeah, try surfing it tomorrow. I'm super excited to see what it's like and I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated. Whew, you guys, I am dead. I just surfed for three hours. I think it was three or four hours. It was super fun, but I'm super exhausted and now I need a snack and I need to chill a little bit. My eyes are like super red. I don't know if you can see it. I went to surf with my new board, which was so much fun. Uh, I really like it because with that board, it's still easy to catch waves, like with a long board, but you have a lot more maneuverability um, because the board's shorter than a long board, so you can do turns and stuff easier. The waves were actually super tiny, but I still managed to catch a few with the board. And yeah, it was nice. We did some video too, which I'm gonna show you guys now. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to not miss out on any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye!